Hey guys and welcome to Beam and G Drive. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial for the Waypoints AI mod by uh, Incognito. Um, I had somebody request a, a quick tutorial on the forum so I thought I might as well uh, put one up. So uh, I'm assuming that you've already installed the mod by this point uh, so I'm just going to cover how to record and run uh, different waypoints. So uh, to start off with, I'm just going to go ahead and drive over to the start finish line and then we're going to start the recording. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is line up the car, um, you know, bef uh, a few uh, feet before where your starting point is going to be of your recording. Um, then we'll go ahead and open up the console now. And the first um, code we're going to be using is waypoint start recording path. Go ahead and enter that. Uh, now we can just start driving our course. And the only thing you want to pay attention to here is to make sure that you stay in the middle of the track as much as possible and that you uh, make sure that you're not skidding at all or losing traction because the AI won't know how to deal with that. Um, so the path that you're recording isn't going to be repeated exactly by the computer, but it's going to be uh, relatively close to what you're recording. So I'll just go ahead and finish uh, recording this path now, and we'll be right back. Alright, now you want to uh, stop the recording also several feet past your first waypoint. Um, that way, just to make sure that the car uh, has enough room to catch up again if you want to have it do multiple laps. Alright, now we just need to save the path that we just recorded. So we're going to uh, enter this command, which is waypoints print current car ID. And that will give us the car ID for the car that you're currently driving. So our car ID is number one. And we'll go to uh, waypoints, save waypoint path. And we'll go ahead and call this one tutorial. Enter uh, car number one. See that it's saved. All right, so now I've got the car lined up at the start finish line. And we're gonna go ahead and switch to a chase car. Alright, we're lined up and ready to go. Uh, so let's switch back to our AI controlled car. We're going to use the command waypoints load waypoint. Our file name is tutorial. And as we found out before, this is car ID 1. And hit uh, enter. Waypoints loaded. And the final command is the waypoints run car command. You just have to enter the car ID here. And I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my chase car. And we'll start it up now.
Alright, so there you go. Um, it's actually much easier than I expected it to be to just be able to drive around in a quarter path. Um, I wish it was a bit quicker to, to load the different profiles and run them on the cars. Um, but, you know, that's something that it's easy to get over. Um, and just a couple things to remember when you're recording is to, uh, you know, it may take a couple of tries. I usually have to do three or four tries depending on how long the course is. Um, because if the AI does lose control, say you take the corner too fast or you brake too early or too late, um, it, it will slam on the brakes and it usually end up causing a crash. Um, so it just takes some, you know, trial and error and, um, once you get it all set up right, it's definitely a lot of fun. So if you have any questions, just let me know. And uh, subscribe for more PMG videos and other gameplay. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.